Hey, today, you guys are getting it done. We're out here outside of the Heart of Ohio Antique Center. Let me show you what they got going on. All right, Josh is getting unloaded. Man, it's cold out here. That wind is like tearing right through me. Holy camoly. Unloading the truck. This is all uh, stuff that we're not even going to sell here. We're actually going to send off um, to another auction to sell. We got a whole warehouse unit back here. We're filling up. Um, just too much, too much volume for us to sell everything we always get. So we do, we have, we're, we're, we work with some other auctioneers and uh, send stuff off as well. So this load right here is getting prepped and ready to go. Another day in the life. Another of day in the life of the Burner Brothers, right? <laughs> Back over here, our sales area, getting it cleaned up. Josh is vacuuming up peanuts, I think. <laughs> From Janet throwing peanuts. That's funny. Jimmy's on this side, vacuuming away. Man, we got all kind of room down here. This is looking good. Okay, so what we have going on here is Jimmy is actually unpacking this bell collection and oh, yeah. uh, sitting it over here. That's a lot of Fenton bells, Jimmy. You should see them glow. Yeah, do they glow pretty good? <laughs> yeah. I figured a bunch of them would. That's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, hold, hold one or two of them up here so we can see the detailing of them as we unwrap them there. Oh. Let me see what we got. Hold on, that's a cool bell with the boy. Fenton Christmas Fenton fancy. Christmas fancy. These are extremely nice Fenton bells. Number sign number 87 of 7,500. 7, hand painted. A heart, 1985. 1985. That's 1985. cool. With the Fenton old green yellow label on that one. There. That's cool. And then these are all these are all more bells. Yeah, there's a bunch. How many bells were there? Do you remember? Oh, there's got to be a couple hundred, didn't there? Oh, it, yeah. And then the animals too. The hundreds. And I mean, there was a lot of animals too. Yeah. Well, that's cool. And then D Dino's over here unpacking on this table. Dino, what are you unpacking on this side here? Well, I, in this box, I was unpacking a whole bunch of jewelry. All the jewelry? Yep. Yeah. Got to get it all un unpacked. Got like earrings in here. Yeah. And then all the blue, there's some little Fenton swung vases kind of cool there. The ruby red vases. And man, there's a lot of stuff on the tables here. And then there's this bohemian glass that's over here. This is pretty cool. That's cool. All right, I'll show you guys a few more of these bells. It's a pretty, pretty cool collection, so uh, check it out. That one's got a music box in it, so that one's different. Uh, musical bell. It is Fenton, though. All original with the tags, with the labels. And that one, Jimmy. Uh, let's just give you a sampling of these bells, because these are pretty, pretty incredible bell collection. Check it out. Musical bell, um, and there's the back. Very interesting. Numbered sign. That's cool. Now, have we packed these like she had them? They'd all be in order. Oh, yeah. When we picked <laughs> it up, it was all in order. Okay, this one's a green one. This is fun. I like the color on that. Just a nice green bell. We were told by a lot of our viewers, don't buy the bells. Don't buy the bells. But I, I think that this is a really good bell collection. Really cool stuff. And there's a lot of Fenton in here. A lot of Fenton bells. Nice with the bows up top. There's the red. Again, all signed. Well, how can we not buy the bells? How could we not buy them, right? I mean, well, then there, there's the other stuff too, the animals. I'm, I'm looking oh. forward to the animals. Now that's, that one's all white one. That's kind of cool though. White, seems like all white glass has really picked up in price in the past uh, year, <laughs> year and a half. A lot of glass has though, not just the Fenton. Um, a lot of glass that's white, uh, and even some of the clear glass has actually picked up steam. Um, and a lot of the newer glass, you know, it's just not, it's not what it was. Well, this is cool. Check these out. These are original box. Fenton, original boxes. Wow, look at that. All hand-painted scenes. Let me get it out where you can see it once. This one has deer on it. That's cool. That's a great bell. That's a great bell, Jimmy. I like the I like these boxes. Oh, these here. box bells. Are oh, these are gorgeous. Awesome. I'm gonna show them these boxes here. Yeah, ready to go. Uh, probably put them on the wood shelf to the left, huh? Or actually, we can put them on the white. We'll probably put these box ones up there on the big glass shelf. Yeah. Statue of Liberty, original packing with the twin towers on the back side. 
Wow, I wonder what year this was. Was this before or after 9-11? Let's see if I can find the date on there. Now I'm curious. It is numbered. Oh, it doesn't have a date. Jimmy, do you think that that was before 9-11 or after? Because it's got the Twin Towers on the back. I know. Well, I bet it was before. You think, think that was probably the Twin before? Towers on there? Let me see. Um, Let's see what it says on the inside here. Is there no date? Hand painted. No date anywhere. This is interesting. I'm just curious. Number 827 of 1250. Maybe there's a date on the paperwork. Print and hand painted though. This is interesting because it, uh, a lot of the Twin Tower stuff that was pre 9-11 is, is uh, pretty valuable as well. Right. well. See, it's got the old paper Fenton label in there. I, I bet that's, that's 80s. That's got to be pre 9-11. Yeah, that's got to be pre 9-11. That's, that's pretty special. Let's put all that, that back in there. That is an awesome piece. So there you go. We got Statue of Liberty and it's New York Skyline. The Skyline with the Twin Towers. Now that that is an exclusive, limited edition Fenton Bell. That's special right there. That's pretty special. All right, now I'm now I'm even getting more excited. Here. Let's see what else we got. Uh huh. This one I don't believe has ever been out of this box the way that it's made. This one has a train on it. Um. Oh wow! Look at the train, guys. Check it out. All hand painted Fenton Bell with the train. More bells. Original price tag on that one was $35. That's pretty cool. Box the, box the bell back up. Yeah, we got we got a lot more bells. Looks like we're moving over to the wood shop. Going to the wood. <laughs> All right, let's pack this one over. Oh, I'll go on. Here's the next one. So we got all these bells set back here in the background. There's, they're all Fenton uh, in that that whole area. I think they're all Fenton anyways, or mostly. Oh, Here's okay. a carnival one. So there's a Fenton carnival glass bell. Uh, it has someone on there. Okay, let's put that one back. That's the music box out of the bell. There we go. Box of bell it is. It was so funny on this house call is, uh, you know, they, they called us up and then they had had a couple couple people they were going to have come out and, uh, you know, they were ready to sell. They knew what they wanted and uh, she had collected and the lady that had collected all these marked everything. Look at the eagle. That is so cool. She marked everything on how much she paid and how much she thought it was worth and they color coordinated it all. Um, just really exceptional. Hey Jenny, try not to move all that paper around while we're videoing there. Right. You guys won't be able to hear it, huh? What's up? I said on that crunch crumpling of all that paper while we're videoing that oh. makes it really hard to hear. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get I'm gonna get you. These guys at. aren't used to video and I gotta do all that work, see. So I'm gonna get background noise. Background noise. We'll Alright, here we go. Check that one out. Here's an angel. Oh, that's a kid. Never mind. That's Christmas morning. Waiting for Santa Claus. Looking for Santa Claus. That's cool. There's the next one. What do we got? Swap them out. Swap them out. Oh, and there's another one. Now this is an interesting bell collection. So something else that Jimmy said is, did you hit it with the black light yet? And so I haven't, but we're gonna grab that black light real quick. I have. Uh, you got that black light right there? It's over on that tray, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna see what this looks like with black light on them. Let's have a look. Yeah, ooh. Look at that whole section. Wow. <laughs> That's the light up section. That's the light up section. <laughs> Half those or more are all glowing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's about 10 of them right there that glow. I bet this one, these two might glow too, yep. That glows. Yep, that one does. That one does. Let's go up to the next shelf. Oh, there's more. Those two do. Those four Those do. Those four do. All that, the whole, that whole group all, all glows. All the little ones. They all glow. We're gonna have to do a glow, but glowing bell cell. Yeah, well then you got And then the, we got all this uranium glass up here. you got the uranium here. glass up here that glows. Uh, yeah, that's, that's fun. Look at those. Those are cool. That is cool. A lot of glow on that stuff. All right. So what, how do you, what do you think, Jimmy? How should we sell these bells on whatnot? Should we do? 
I don't know. Just kind of do a grab and pick off the shelf or? Well, we could start with the small glow bells, then move to the just big keep glow on bells, moving. and then just. And then we haven't even got to the figures yet. Let's see if we can't get to the figures. All right. So here are just a couple of the animals. The cats are fun. A lot of hand painted cats in here. There's different animals and we're just starting to get into them, but I gotta go back out in the mall. So uh, anyways, this is a cool little uh, brief unbox here. Uh, check out all the owls. The owls are cool. These are made by Summit Glass here. And these are all Fenton owls here, all different color Fenton owls. Oops. Guys, we are uh, kind of hopping here today at the heart. It's been a crazy busy. I haven't had time to film much. Uh, so I got a little bit of us getting the bell collection unwrapped. And we've got some stuff in the sold bins I'd like to show to show you. So let's go there next. Well, that's different. Check out that belt there. That's a $21 uh, calfskin belt, it looks like. Okay, so here is a bull. That is all glass, $65 on the art glass bull. That's cool. Got a whole box full of very interesting small, $77 on the crane. Uh, here's a Christmas, Christmas guy here. What's he priced at? $15. Uh, Santa Claus climbing out of the chimney. There's a really cool Santa Claus Christmas ornament. Celluloid, uh, $30 in the car. There's Santa in the car for 30 bucks. That's just a fun group. This is kind of a fun piece. It's all scrimshaw, uh, hand carved, um, all the way through, all hand carved. It's priced at $3.95. An offer was submitted for $300. It's even got a whale down there. And the offer was taken, so it sold for $300. Check out the boot. Copper and brass boot here sold $42. That's pretty neat. Some more blow molds just went out the door, sold. Uh, let's check out the price real quick. These are priced at $28.99 a piece. No wonder they went out. Those are sold. You don't want to say cheese? Say hi. Take a binky out. I'll take a binky say out. Cheese. Say cheese. Say cheese. What'd you say buy? Cheese. What'd you buy today? Did you buy anything? Did you get a cookie? Did you get a cookie? No. Oh, you a mom now. <laughs> you got a cookie. Tell him you got a cookie. You got a you got a cookie? You want another one? You allowed to have another one? No. Yeah, he's had, well, he's had a lot of chocolate today. Oh, uh-oh. No more chocolate. All right. No. I see how it is. That's so fun. What'd you guys find? Somebody was carrying something. Anything. I see uh, who Allison was that. Oh, all right. I'll have to go, let's go see what she got over here. Allison found a crock. So tell me, what, what'd you get? I got a crock. How much is it? $30. $30. Okay, where are you going to put it? On my kitchen um, counter. What, what are you going to use? Utensils. Utensils. Okay, like the long ones? The big, the big, yeah, the big like ones? Yeah, like the spatulas and stuff. Perfect. I have wood ones. Perfect. That's awesome. I'm glad you found it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm back here with Joe. Joe just went to a tag sale and bought some stuff, and mm -hmm. uh, he's going to put in the showcase. What's their showcase number again? 6202. 62, so showcase number 6202. Yep. Um, and what, do you, what all are you going to put in, the, put in there? Um, I got a bunch of cut glass. I really love cut glass. That's so. a cool piece. That's an earlier piece, too. I really love cut glass. I just like the way it looks. I think it's super pretty. So I got a whole bunch of cut glass for some okay. good prices. Okay. And then I also got some. I like cool that Victorian glass you mm -hmm. got in your hand. That's green. That's all enamel paint. Mm -hmm. um, okay. That's cool. Got uh same thing on sterling. That's, That's a sterling cool. one. That's mm -hmm. fun. And then you're talking about this lamp you got too. That's that kind of a cool too. piece. I'll have my brother rewire it because it's. It needs rewired. So your brother's going to rewire it for you. And that's, uh, I think that's like 19th century uh, French porcelain is what I think that is. That's a cool lamp. I like it. It gets rewired. It should sell right away. Yeah. And I got these uh, those are oriental cool. vases. I like that. I think you did good on those. thought they were super pretty. They are pretty. Uh, a couple uh, etched salt and pepper shakers. Nothing yep. too okay. fancy about them. I just thought cool. they look cool. So, huh. Awesome. We'll, we'll showcase 6202. Come check it out. It's fun. Joe's so nervous on camera, and uh, he was all he could do to sit there and talk about that stuff, but that's pretty cool. I'm going to show you some walk-ins of the day here. I got some stuff bought. i uh, kind of go, go through it with you real quick. Starting off here, we have a McCoy Little Red Riding Hood. Here she is, Little McCoy Little Red Riding Hood. I know they reproed a bunch of these at some point. Um, not sure. I don't think there's a repro one, but uh, it is fun. Little McCoy Little Red Riding Hood. We got this lamp on a walk-in. This lamp is a little lead glass lamp. It's not an old one, but it's got just a fun style. And it wasn't a lot of money, so we can sell it. And then two fun leaded glass windows. Again, these aren't really old, but they are uh, sellable. So that's that's good. And we also got a group of Fiesta. So we got this picture. And then this group right here, uh, all from walk-in. 
And then we also bought this group of stuff down here, which has some Fenton in it. So uh, some original box Fenton pieces, which is kind of fun. Show you what this one is. This is a pink one here. I love the pattern on this one here. Um, very nice, all signs, numbered and all. Uh, this, this, the couple that got this actually, they were buying pallet deals from somewhere. Um, and then they brought me this stuff and we pulled out the things that we could sell. Uh, here's another piece of sign Fenton. Uh, here you go. Signature on the bottom. Um, and so that group right there, and then all the Disney, uh, showcase collection pieces, there's some Nao pieces in there. That was all uh, from a pallet deal. And they brought that and we bought that one on the walk in today. Piece here as well, uh, was from the same call not sure this was in a fenton box i don't think yeah oh no that is fenton yeah i said that wrong uh this is a fenton piece it says who it's hand painted by on the bottom it's designed by and everything that's just a cool piece of fenton kind of a, a rare little little piece paper label up here for it and then this one right here as well hand painted signed and numbered on the bottom pretty cool what's really nice is uh on, on these walk-ins like this i always just Try and ask them how much do you want for what you got and if we can pay it we'll buy it and that's what happened here they said this is what they want and we were able to pay it and we got the group uh this is a linux uh elephant here it's a signed linux elephant with enamel paint that's a cool piece as well this is the walk-in of the day and then i'd like to do one more thing is just unbox this bohemian glass with you guys um show you some of this bohemian glass that we got so let me walk back here and set the camera up so this this whole group that i'm, that I'm unwrapping here i'll try not to be too loud is all uh, all bohemian uh cut cut crystal so this is ruby cut to clear uh most of it's probably czechoslovakia uh, most of the age on this stuff i believe was like 1960s and 70s type stuff uh, maybe a few pieces that are older but the workmanship is just really high quality workmanship uh look at the heart design on there the birds uh, really great group of bohemian glass now we bought all this last week uh, with the bells for the same collection that had the bells um so i thought this would be a good a good time to go through it um, and check out the quality and the design on it and it used to be 20 20 years ago a, a vase like this we could get you know between 50 and 80 bucks out of and today i, I think they're uh probably relatively the same i think because it's, it's getting more popular uh, a few years ago it was bringing less but i feel like there's been a little bit of an uptick in bohemian stuff um but there's some really fun pieces now this powder box is fun with the beer scene and this is very typical um to the check glass it's got the heart here you got the ant of the birds and then at the top you got the deer running uh it's just a fun fun little box um here we go. next piece Oh, that's a fun picture. It's got the castle on the side or church on the side, I guess, uh, and the deer on the other side. So this is, again, a very typical uh, bohemian piece. And this lady had numbered everything. So that was her number was 34 on that. And she had a, a price that she paid and what she thought it was worth in her book uh, when we picked all this stuff up. That was really interesting. You don't see that very often on the estate call where every single item has been priced out uh, by the owner and then... Uh, what they thought the item was worth and everything now this i really like this is an earlier piece i think um it's got a little bit more age to it you can just feel that the whole base down here is solid glass um compared to like this one uh this one's a lot a lot more hollow down on the bottom uh all solid down here on the bottom so very heavy on the bottom and i love the deer scene all the way around it's all all cut uh ruby ruby over clear cut glass absolutely stunning pattern uh, stunning design on that one let's go to the next one there's some fun pieces in here and this one oh swung vase swung vase that's fun uh, whenever you can find a swung vase very popular right now we've actually got quite a few swung vases in in inventory right now um, that we just purchased over the past two weeks so that'll be interesting to see where those go to okay another big piece of bohemian cut now this is look at the scenes and the quality and gorgeous bohemian wear the birds flying i love the scenes on it and this deer right here is just fabulous 
And that's a big bottle. That's probably a, a 14 inch or so uh, decanter. And there's also some glasses uh, that will match back up with that as well. Uh, fun piece there, that's a fun piece. There's another one. So there was all sorts of items from this collection. In there. So here's another swung vase. And I think that this is gonna glow up here on the top. I'm um, assuming Viking probably made that, but great color. Um, I really like that one. It's got a good look to it. Swung vase, man, that's so, so funny. We bought a carnival glass swung vase last week too. Now look at this one. This one's got a kind of a, uh, an interesting, with so much cut off of that. Um, you can see all the wheel, like all of this is hand cut off. Like it was ruby, a ruby double layer glass with ruby color on the outside and then they, this wheel cut down. So all this clear through here is all wheel cut as well. That's pretty, pretty spectacular piece actually. Uh, it's Bohemian on the bottom is what it says. So Bohemian cut glass, uh, check, absolutely stunning. Lots of work in that piece. Let's see what we got next. Um, there's another decanter, I believe. Oh yeah. Nice scenes. There's another decanter. You know, it's it's probably been uh, 10 or 15 years since I've seen so many pieces of Bohemian in one collection uh, as this lady had collected. So let's set that one to the side. Here's the next piece. And like this piece, you'll notice uh, just a little, little, little thing that I look for when I'm trying to buy this is way more simpler than this piece here is. So this piece here has way more cutting in it. Uh, side by side, uh, I would value this piece at twice the price of this one is. And the, the, the trees, the leaves, the design on this thing is just absolutely stunning. And this is it's just nice. It, it's very high quality, but it's just, uh, I don't believe it's the same level of, of uh, work as that last piece was. So even in, in the Bohemian glass, there's, you know, you can look for all different kinds of little details. Uh, kind of like every other category, the more detailed something is, the, the more value it generally has. So that was a lid. This is probably a base. Yep. So here's a covered jar. And, ooh, I don't know if that's the right lid. I don't think that's the right lid for that one. Oh, that went with that one. So this is the one three-footed one here has that lid yeah that makes sense let's see if we can't get more out of this one and that looks like it would go on this no another little piece now it's getting interesting gotta match it all back up wow what a trophy base that's big and that one's probably the lid there we go now that's kind of special. Look how big that piece is. So it's a massive piece. Great workmanship all the way through. It's got the deer scenes on it. Uh, really, she, she really spent a, a lot of time uh, putting this collection together because each piece of this is all handmade. Um, and this lady collected for a long time. Couldn't imagine where she found it all at. Such a cool grouping. Uh, another piece. Something fun about what we do is we get to go in and buy collections uh, a lot of times where it was already assembled. And then we re we disassemble it and sell it back to individuals again. And sometimes one person will buy a big lot from us, but, but most often uh, when we're selling this stuff, it'll go back out to 10, 20, 30, 40 different people. Uh, and then they, they will put it in their collections or vendors will resell it. So a lot of times these big collections will get uh, disassembled through our process and then uh, go back into a new collection somewhere different. And that's always, I think that's part of the fun of the business for me is, is we get to just reassign all of these these beautiful things to new homes. And this is really cool. Uh, okay, well that's a little bit of the Bohemian Glass unwrapping I wanted to share with you guys. So we have an interesting day. Um, every day is interesting anymore. i just just overwhelmed by how much volume we're doing right now. Um, blessed. Uh, and, and, uh, and, I, and I don't say that lightly. I mean, I'm just really... Uh, um, overwhelmed by what all we have responsibility over and uh, you think back that we started buying and selling antiques when I was eight nine ten years old with 20 bucks and now we're we're buying collections and houses and stuff like this it just it does doesn't make sense um, we work really hard we're trying to keep you guys uh, not not just for you for you guys but for our families and all the, the dealers here at the antique center uh, keep everything moving uh, keep it interesting keep it fun uh, and stay in the front uh, of technology um, and trends change and all that sort of thing so 
keep watching our videos. We'll keep talking about all of these things as we go forward. And uh, man, just really appreciate you guys so much for, for watching and uh, taking care and liking our videos and stuff like that. And I probably sound a little off today. I'm not feeling the best, but I'm also really tired today. Uh, so anyways, thanks for watching guys. Blessed everybody out there. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like at Burner Brother Antiques at Heart of Ohio Antiques.